Let's say that I want the possibility to create profiles of my amps for free using neural networks like NAM with a nice free plugin that I want to use in my computer. But well, I also want the possibility to load these profiles in a stomp box like the Tonix. And why not? I want also a lot of effects at my disposal. Does something like this actually exist at all? Yes, let's start. Let's now describe the AIDA X Plus Mod Dwarf solution. I would start from the Mod Dwarf. First of all, this is a multi effects unit which can be used by any musician, whether he or she is a guitarist, a keyboard player, etc. It has a very unique approach and philosophy as you can basically build your own signal chains selecting effects and connecting them with the virtual cables and furthermore you can even build your own plugins and then load them in the Dwarf. As in fact the platform is totally open. Actually the Dwarf is like a computer aimed to load plugins and effects. I can already tell you that this device is addictive. I found myself having so much fun building my own signal chains, selecting the effects, etc. And this approach, as far as I know, is pretty unique. Please let me know in the comment section below if you know something similar. There are many effects at your disposal that are good, some of them really good, like for instance the convolution reverbs. And you can even use it as a guitar synth without the need of any guitar to MIDI hardware unit. Furthermore, in the last month, a pretty cool plugin has been added to the Dwarf ecosystem, which is called AIDA X. Basically, you can think at AIDA X as something similar to NAM, as AIDA X is based upon two components that are a free training software procedure and a free plugin that you can use in your computer as a VST 
or that you can load in the dwarf. And that's where the dwarf is becoming pretty interesting for us guitarists. In fact, this unit actually allows us to load AI generated profiles of your tube amps thanks to the AIDA X and at the same time you can couple these profiles with pretty good effects. That's why I see this device as a marriage between NAM, TONIX and a good multi-effects unit. Something actually very cool and interesting in my opinion. Now let me show you some example of what you can do. The first use case is a complete guitar rig using a profile of a Tonkin Imperial plugin. Here we have my guitar which is going into an overdrive, then in the AIDA X, then in an IR loader where I have loaded my own custom IR. Then we have a stereo chorus and two delays with modulation, one for the left side and the other one for the right one in order to have a sort of ping pong delay with modulations. Then I have the reverb and finally the signal is going into the stereo out. You have heard this signal chain at the beginning of the demo song where I have loaded in the AIDA X the profile of a Tone King Imperial amp. <laughs> Furthermore, you have heard this chain also in the solo part where the AIDA X hosts a profile of my pink taco. Another possibility we have is to create a signal chain dedicated just to the sound of an amp plus cab, and this is my second use case. Here we have an AIDA X profile of my pink taco that is then going into two IR loaders where I have loaded my IR of a greenback mic'd with an SM57 and an IR of the same greenback but mic'd with a Royer 1 to 1. These two IRs are then going into a virtual mixer where I can decide how to blend the IRs choosing the amount of 55 or 1 to 1 I want for my specific tone. I can use the Dwarf with these settings to build an ampless pedal board, coupling it with my favorite choruses and delays pedals. You have heard this setting in the theme section of the demo song. These are just two use cases, but the possibilities are basically endless. The only limitations are the processing power and the latency you're gonna want to accept. We will talk about latency in a few minutes. Coming back to the Dwarf features, it has a 3 inches monochrome LCD display and an input and output lead meters and the possibility to control the unit via Bluetooth, for instance, with your tablet. Actually, the unit also acts as a web server, therefore you don't need to install any software in your computer. You just connect the unit to your PC via USB and then you can access the control software just using your browser. In terms of I.O., you have a stereo input, stereo balanced and unbalanced outputs, mini in and out via mini jacks, USB ports and an headphone out and a control chain in, which can be used to connect the mod to a control device. So far, the unit cannot officially be used as an audio interface, even if there are some not official solutions that allow you to do it. The dimensions are the one in the screen, it runs at 12 volts and 2 amperes, and the price is around 500 bucks. Now let's spend two words about AIDA X. It has some similarities with NAM and some differences. Like NAM, it offers a free training procedure and a free VST plugin. The difference is that NAM is based on WaveNet neural network, 
where AIDA is based on RT neural. As far as I have understood, NAM uses more complex neural networks that can mimic pretty well real tube amps but are pretty heavy on the PC CPU when you use the plugin. AIDA X uses lighter neural networks that would be less precise in terms of digital copy of our amp but are more CPU friendly. That's why AIDA can be loaded in the Dwarf, where there are still not many solutions for loading NAM other than a Mac or a PC or something similar. I don't want to enter here into the tonal differences between NAM and AIDA X for two reasons. The first one is that this is actually a topic for a new video, and the second one is that I'm still not able to run the AIDA profiling procedure on my PC, but I have just used the Google JIT Collab for my profiles. In fact, NAM uses Anaconda, where AIDA uses a Docker solution which I have to learn from scratch. In my opinion, this is a cons of the AIDA solution, as there are many guitarists who have learned how to use Anaconda to train NAM and that has to learn a different procedure to train AIDA on their PC. This is a barrier, in my opinion, to the diffusion of AIDA, but this is currently the situation. So in order to do a proper NAM versus AIDA comparison, I need to learn the AIDA Docker solution and therefore I need time. Let's now talk about latency. You know that uh, in your computer, when you use a plugin, you can set the buffer size. The smaller is the buffer, the smaller is the latency, but the more you are taxing the CPU and vice versa. In the Dwarf, you have two possible buffer values at your disposal that are 128 frames or 256. Obviously, 128 frames are taxing the CPU but are better in terms of latency, where 256 are more friendly with the CPU but increases the latency. The latency is almost fixed independently from the amount of effects that you put in the chain. Complex chains may require one more milliseconds. These are the values that I measure. Using 128 frames you have around 8.6 milliseconds of latency that becomes around 16.5 if you use 256 frames. Obviously with 128 frames you are taxing the CPU and therefore you can use less complex signal chains compared to 256 frames. There is actually a trick that improves the latency allowing you to use complex signal chains with a buffer size of 128 frames. You can do it using the Portal plugin. And actually, using this plugin, I was able to reduce the latency of my heavy chain from 16.5 milliseconds to around 11 milliseconds, being able to run the unit at 128 frames. Now I know that for some of you, this value could be too high, but as I'm able to adapt to latency, I can play pretty comfortably with these values. And this is actually the price to pay for a complete solution. I mean, an AI trained profile loader with pretty good effects at your disposal. With very good effects at your disposal, actually. But let's now wrap up all the pros and cons in my two cents section of this video. Final considerations here, and please notice that the mod has sent me the dwarf for free, but they are not asking me to say anything and they have not reviewed this video before I uploaded it to YouTube. First of all, I'm having a lot of fun with this little device. I would say that it pushes my creativity farther allowing me to experiment unique signal chains, creating pretty interesting sounds too. I am really enjoying the web-based app to create our effect chains. It has a unique approach which is easy, very customizable and powerful at the same time. Furthermore, I like a lot the effects inside the Dwarf and the possibility to load 
AI trained profiles could actually be a game changer. I see this device as a very promising starting point, who merges all the things we love about NAM, Tonix and a very good effect unit. As I love this solution, I would also like to provide some, I hope, constructive improvement suggestions. I mean, there are areas where, in my opinion, the ecosystem could be improved. First of all, I'm still not able to match the quality of the profiles I'm getting with NAM. I know that NAM uses more complex neural networks that need powerful CPU to be used, but if AIDA could adopt the NAM environment with Anaconda, in my opinion, AIDA would easily attract the interest of all the guitarists who have learned how to train amps with NAM. This could bring a lot of interest to this solution, also with a lot of contributions to improve the training procedure. Furthermore, in the dwarf, I miss an external effect loop, which would allow me, for instance, to use my favorite chorus pedal coupled with all the other cool dwarf effects. This would enhance even further the dwarf flexibility, allowing this little device to be easily integrated in pretty complex pedalboard solutions. And finally, the latency could be a minus for some of us who are very sensible. I can comfortably use the Dwarf with the Portal plugin solution with around 11 milliseconds of latency, as I have explained previously, but this could be a limitation for some of us. All in all, I think that Dwarf and AIDA X are just a little step back from being a total game changer, already offering a very cool ecosystem or an ecosystem I'm already enjoying a lot, which needs some few tweaks to be almost perfect. Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below and see you soon.